What's up, everybody? Takes a peek big here again. Trying out different intros, obviously. We'll see if that one sticks. <laughs> but uh, got an episode of Cuphead uh, here for you. Uh, got another episode of Funko Pops breaking, I should say. And the theme of it is Cuphead, the game for... I don't know if it's on every console. I played it on Xbox One. It's a, one of the cheaper games. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. But it is an old school kind of uh, arcade game in the style of, if you know, like uh, Steamboat Mickey, you know, that black and white, like old school style cartoon, that's the style that this game is in. So it's really interesting because everything is like hopping up and down, real Alice in Wonderland looking, you know, cartoony stuff. And um, so basically, let me start opening them up so I don't get behind as usual. But um, Cuphead, I know it's two player. I've only played it one player so far. But so I play as Cuphead, and uh, I know you team up with Mugman. The story is basically that uh, they go off into uh, a casino run by King Dice here, who um, I'm really excited to open him up. He looks awesome. But there's Cuphead. Oh, and he actually has like some fluid. In his cup, milk maybe. I don't know. It's white. Um, Cuphead, Mugman, Mugman. I think is an awesome name. Um, basically, the Luigi of the two. Let's see. There's a science to it. Also, same liquid in his mug all right so that's them too they go up to king dice casino and uh they're rolling on their luck and ooh, hope that doesn't come through too well uh they roll on their luck and of course they lose and they lose everything and they get in the whole big wow this dice for his die for his head is awesome Real sleazy looking guy. He's got the real thin mustache, huge smile. Um, I love the perp. There's this purple suit with the coattails and the bow tie. Man, this one is awesome. And I know he came with a couple other versions. I know there's like a gold one out there, which that would be awesome to get. I really like gold stuff. Um, and uh, so that's him. He makes, you know, he runs the casino, they roll big and they lose. And so then they're in to the devil. They owe him. And so they make a bargain with him, which he is, it's a crazy version of him. You could tell, you could tell a little bit that it's kind of this old school style, especially like when you look at here, like this artwork here, that it's uh, that style of old school cartooning and animation. Um, I don't know how to say, it, how to describe it. The big eyes, the big nose, maybe. I don't know what to pinpoint on it, but it's definitely that old style, and that's the game. You feel like you're playing an old cartoon. Now, when I got this, for some reason, I thought this was a part of the Pops because it was Funko and it was a vinyl as well. And it's like the devil just coming out of fire. Um, but it's not, I, I ended up having to go back and get this other devil, which was way better because he's got his foot on the poker chips. He's got his little golden pitchfork and he's got, he's holding up a few cards there. And so I thought that was way cooler and it's got his tail and everything like that. I thought that was way cooler than not having his bottom half and just this like, ah, oh, coming out of fire thing. He looks way cooler in the pop version. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll do it as part of a give giveaway coming up. Um, we'll see. But, let's go on to... Um, now, this was a, an exclusive, so it's not on the back of the box. Cagney Carnation. And it's basically one of the little... Uh, like a Goomba for Mario. You know, one of the bad guys that you have to face as you're going through the levels. It's a side scroller, like you know, like Mario and Sonic and stuff like that, and so um, that's the type of gameplay it is, also for that. And last but not least, the legendary Chalice. When you free her, she gives you a super 
a superpower attack or something like that. Um, oh, cool thing about her is she's floating, and so it gives you like a little stand. They're really nice, like artwork pieces. I feel like, for some reason, for being such simple animation, these are some of the most like detailed pops, I guess. In like, it captures all their aspects because since they're so, I guess, simply drawn, that this captures every like detail that they're drawn in. To whereas other things like when they have pops of real people they have to simplify a few things to make it worth being a pop or not or I mean like simplified to a pop level you know it's not a super detailed statue it's a simplified you know bobblehead kind of thing um, and so these guys though because they're simple art already it looks like a very detailed version of them and it looks real cool so I'm definitely happy with this collection I haven't beat the game yet. It's a lot harder. I play it on normal, but it is way harder than I expected. Probably because I'm not as used to um, those side scroller games anymore. If you're like, uh, if you were big on Pac-Man, uh, the original Nintendo system, Galaga, Space Invaders, if you were like great at those kind of games, then this is like a definitely a good game for you, and you would definitely fit in on. Um, knowing how to do the mechanics and stuff like that more than uh, I guess you know third person running around with you know Xbox One game of the time right now so anyway that's this that's all the characters I'm gonna leave him in the vinyl but cool looking characters all around very fun game to play I got on Xbox One it's only 15 bucks and it's two players so cheap good for uh, I would say it's okay for kids still for the most part even though some adult themes like gambling and the devil and all that you're still uh, I think most of it like if it's anything serious it would kind of go over their head kind of like you know the way Disney tries to do it and all those other things so um, that's Cuphead these are the pops and I'm Texas King Pig so I'll see you next time